Hello, welcome back. Time now for the press review, and I'm joined on set for that by Katerina Vatotsi. Katerina, you're going to talk us through how the press around the world are covering President Chavez's death. Yeah, we're going to start off with press uh, in Venezuela, as you can imagine. It's the, the one and only story mm. dominating yep. uh, their, press, uh, their um, print and online editions. I'm going to kick off with El Nacional, which is one of the biggest daily newspapers. On their website, they've picked out sort of key moments um, from Hugo Chavez throughout the years. And in fact, we're going to start off with this picture of, that they've picked of him in 1998. And they say this just sort of shows how you can already see this sort of cult, uh, cult of image developing as Chavez, the man of the people. You see he's got his, his, his red beret on there. This was in his uh, lead up to the first elections in 1998, as I said. Um, then it's quite interesting to see the second photograph they have 10 years later, th that similar sort of dynamic, Chavez, the man of the people, uh, you know, that sort of close contact, you know, they, the, the piece talks about how he would go and just talk for hours off, 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 off cuff, and he, that's a real attachment with the people that loved him, they really loved him. And, and there's an interesting piece in El Universal that says, why was he so loved by so many poor people, um, particularly that sort of demographic in Venezuela? And El, El Universal says it's because Chavez was like was like you, um, in terms of this was a guy when he came to power. He had from a very p poor farm background, according to the newspaper, and it was quite a refreshing change for many of vote, many voters in um, Venezuela. A change from sort of um, corrupt fat cats, as the paper calls them. So it was really a case of, as we've heard um, throughout this morning this incredible popularity cult, this sort of strong image uh, that Hugo Chavez developed throughout uh, his tenure as president. All right, what about the reactions of Venezuelans who aren't at home at the moment? What have they been saying? Well, very interesting to look at uh, sort of the Venezuelan diaspora in Florida's 45,000 45, Venezuelans in South Florida, uh, many who, who left uh, Venezuela uh, to flee sort of uh, political instability and crime. And the paper says, they're actually quite happy. They're celebrating. 300 people gathered outside a sort of a Venezuelan-run family restaurant uh, saying, we're not celebrating someone's death, we're celebrating finally freedom coming to our country. And if we uh, have a look, there's a couple of photographs of people on Twitter. This is Maria Hernandez, uh, you know, saying, uh, the tagline you said, one of several proudly carrying Venezuelan flags. So a sense of we're, we're celebrating finally a chance for um, a political change, perhaps, in Venezuela. And lots of the people that the Miami Herald spoke to said that they will actually go back and vote. Uh, so interesting to see how, how that might change who is sort of coming and going uh, in Venezuela. Absolutely. Two very different sides to the coin there. Thank you, Katerina. Katerina Vitozzi there with our press review. Okay, time for a quick break. Do stay tuned. More news and headlines coming up.